Good day, everyone. This is Chris solving a physics problem. The circular swimming pool has a diameter of 10 meters. The circular side is a pool of 4 meters high. Depth of the water is 3.5 and some other facts. Now, as I read it, getting a couple of key clues here. Got a circular pool and two strange height measurements. One as being the actual cylinder itself and then the water. Now that after a bit of thinking, clues in that the water is not filled all the way to the brim, but instead has a sort of elevation, which we can label as being 3.5. Now, I doubt the water can be below the tank, so it must be filling up to a certain point, leaving a gap of 0.5 from the brim. We are required to solve a physics definition of work. We have here that work is being equal to the force times distance, force being of what's being applied to the matter and in what direction. We can also then break down force as being mass times acceleration. And then acceleration, first looking at density to then attribute with volume. So vo mass over volume gives you density. Rearrange can then give you mass being equal to density times volume. Now as for which volume, we have here the amount of water here. Water can be interpreted as being the side or the face, pi r squared, multiplied by the height of the water, not four, but 3.5. Because we're told that the diameter of this whole pool is 10 meters, we only have a radius of five. So we got here five squared times 3.5. I'll do all the calculus at the very end, just more concerned about getting all of the numbers put down. So once we know our volume, we're given our acceleration of 9.8, and we're given our density of 1,000 kilograms per meter cube. Now, let's finish writing up what our work is, which you got your mass, acceleration, distance, mass now using density and volume, and then acceleration, and then the distance. We can plug in three of those variables very quickly. Density is being 1,000, volume is this hot mess, I times 25 times 3.5. Acceleration, whoops, that's being 9.8. And now we're just left with filling out the distance. At this point here, all you have to do is just plug in the correct number where part A says, get the water over to the side, which is just a vertical distance of 0 0.5, and then a higher vertical distance of one meter, one over the side. And the outlet is one meter over the side, side being the four meter guy here. So really the total distance the water has to travel is 1.5 meters distance. So gonna start up another board. And then we have here the final calculations. So part A, D is just gonna be equal to 0 0.5. And so when you write everything down, work is now just equal to this hot mess. Got a thousand, get the pi, 25, 3.5 to 9.8. And then that D value is 0 0.5. Took the liberty of doing this quick calculation to get a total of 12250 times pi, because I don't feel like dealing with decimals. And this is the amount of energy to move that much water half meter distance up. As for part B, change the vertical distance. Let's also change that D. Look prettier, there we go. Total distance of 1.5 meters. Plug in all your numbers again. It's in fact going to be the exact same, so copy and paste. And then drag it down. Just the same numbers, except now you got it here of 1.5. So I'm going to all of that. You can get a slightly bigger number of the 36750 pi amount of joules. So once again, work is just energy measured in joules. Plug in all your different calculations, you'll get this much energy in order to move water from the pool 1.5 meters above the surface level over the side. Enjoy.